Hey what's up everybody, my name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still in the Bull House inbound, the police station of Columbia. So uh, we're standing in front of the Shield of Columbia Authority and for some reason they used the same quote as the Order of the Raven did. So the uh, quote from, uh, yeah, the guy that killed Lincoln, I kind of forgot his name at the moment. So let's uh, go into the interrogation room and pick up our Voxophone from Daisy Fitzroy. They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock house. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. So that insinuates something really grave. So we already know that Daisy Fitzroy is um, seen as the murderer of um, Lady Comstock. But now Daisy Fitzroy herself, we found that in the evidence locker over here, says that she heard Comstock and his wife arguing. And after that, she uh, went down to check up on her lady and, uh, well, found her dead in uh, her own house and goodbye there we go and it's actually a good thing that we picked up the keys in the bar because for some reason well the chest is over here so let's open up the chest and get ourselves another infusion um, let's actually go for a shield again and let's put that up to full next time we find an infusion nice. Let's take all that. And there's actually a voxophone explaining why the keys were in the bar. So let's listen to uh, Wilbur Sykes. There's the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money. But what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while right they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. So Private Wilbur went to the bar and forgot the keys over there. No reason why they would be in the basement after that, but yeah, that's it is what it is. So here we go, the Vox Tret. Daisy Fitzroy, we must find this bitch, and then three people underneath her are all dead. So Michael Cassius is dead. Old Abernathy Cook is dead, and then Morgan Reed. But that's the picture we know of Preston Downs shot him dead. Um, that is interesting, because we already know that Preston Downs swapped sides eventually. But uh, yeah, that is weird had, that he's called Morgan Creed in this uh, in this uh, schematic over here. And there we go, another uh, murder of crows. Vigor, in case you wouldn't have picked that up after you fought the um, the first zealot in the beginning of the game. Would be weird, but there you have another one if you want to. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this office. And then we have the locker room. So let's head in here. A lot of uh, extra stuff. Let me loot the lockers really quickly. There we go, not much in there. But then, if I'm not mistaken... There's another lockpick over here, yeah. That's pretty much the most important thing here. And then let's go down, because of course we're here for something else than just all this uh, stuff we just uh, picked up. Because, um, yeah, we need to get into the lockup for the uh, weapons of... Uh, Locked. Elizabeth. Let me see. Of Chandon. The, the, the machinery of Chandon. Not the weapons, because he needs to make weapons with his machinery. God damn it. Let's pick up the infusion and as I said, shield infusion to the max and that should net us another trophy, raising the bar, having one of your attributes filled up to the max. Let's, I'm gonna pick up another carbine because I really like the carbine. And then new pants, angry stompers, when extremely low on health, deal twice the damage. That is instead of headmaster, so that's 50% increase to critical hits. Anyway, so I'm just gonna keep that. So let's just take the gear and uh, be done with it. And I think that's pretty much it because there's not much in here aside from that infusion. But that's another five lock picks well spent, in my opinion. So let's go down into the basement because that's where the uh, tools are supposedly locked up. 
Um, and I think that's pretty much... Is there... Yeah, we've been into the interrogation room. So let's go down. Um... Yeah, I think it's just right down there, because yeah, there that's where the tools. that's all now the we tools. Get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? That's a giant pile of machinery. I mean, we're a bit stronger with the vigors now, but that doesn't mean we can pick all that up. Is there something here? I don't think there is something here. Um, some help and look. No problem. A new problem at all. Thank you, Elizabeth. All yours. I love her her lock picking animation. Just sticking two metal rods in them, Who in the lock, really and just opening up. Guns for the Vox Populi. It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Sure, because yeah, Booker doesn't really care about what happens to Columbia in the end. I think it's quite apparent by the fact that he murdered a lot of people in this city already. Um, so let's head down and see how we can uh, put those tools back in their correct place. Because, yeah, we're not going to carry these things out of here. Uh, I'm just going to quickly check all the cells here. The founders will bleed. A poor woman just murdered in her cell. But another lockpick for us. Because, uh, yeah, we're kind of starting to not care anymore. Uh, let's go... Yeah, the cells. I just want to check out everything in the cells here. Cause I, well, we ugh. sure as hell aren't going to be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. No, you didn't. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Okay, yes, indeed. Just tear up. I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Uh, let me just check this other room here first. Because, uh, yeah, there's a giant bag of money over here for some reason. Uh, well, this is inbound, so there's obviously going to be a bit of money down here. Um, is that it? Something over here. I could open it there, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Yeah, so let's discuss this again. Last time we did this was in... Um, well, where Chen, next to Chen Lin's corpse. And he was back alive, but that was... Clearly not the only thing that changed. Because Fink was mad at us. There was a, a few things that changed as well. And she mentioned just that, well, this just goes to another version of this room where the well the machinery isn't here. That should be all that it, it there is, of course. But yeah, we kind of know that it already just overrides the dimension we're in right now. So if we do that again, things are gonna change a lot as well. So let's open up the there, because you don't really have a choice in this matter. We need to do this to progress the game. There we go. So it changed to a lot of guns, so well, that did something. Come on. Armed let's revolt. Head back to the there we go. And finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. But okay, there's a lot the of noise outside. There's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are going to have better lives. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you can already hear a lot of commotion outside. A lot of things have changed because the light outside actually turned red. Because yeah, this is probably the bigger change we did because you can already kind of deduce this from this area because the machinery isn't here. But what is here is a lot of Vox weaponry. And since in our original dimension, Daisy Fitzroy wanted us to make weapons, that shouldn't have been the case. They shouldn't have all that all that much weapons uh, as they are in here. So as you can hear, the soldiers over here are getting assaulted by the Vox Populi, indicating that they must have weapons. And there's a Voxophone over here right now, so let's listen to that. You ever see a force at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we're going to see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. So, yeah, Daisy Fitzroy says that she's going to attack, well, this area, so, um... And as you can hear outside, there's a lot of people shouting Vox. And again, a lot of soldiers that remember both being dead and alive. So let's kill them again. Don't think they have any loot, because we took that, of course, already. 
and there's another explosion. I think these actually... I don't actually know if these count as kills, because technically we've killed them already. Can you feel it? Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. A Vox. A Vox. I'm actually... Can I actually enter that area over there? That's actually weird. Just, just gonna quickly check this out, but that doesn't look like an area I can actually access. Because this is locked off, yeah. Weird. But yeah, let's go outside. Because, uh, Vox. Vox. There's a lot more Vox uh, repeaters over here. And then even giant mines. I'm not gonna hit those, but giant mines over here. Let's leave the impound and see what happened outside. Um, hi. Hello. Hello. So the Vox are friendly to us for now. And this place has turned into an absolute war zone. So let's help out the Vox for now. Man, this is loud. And uh, let's go around the skylines again. Let's go all the way around. And swap a few skylines because we need to get over there. If I'm not mistaken, there's a few here. There we go, turn it down. I think that's pretty much it, right? Oh. I'm actually gonna go for possession. And take control of one of these guys. This one's dead. And there we go. So I don't think anything else has happened item-wise, so we don't really get more items from these uh, areas since they have changed clearly, because there's a lot more uh, red lights and these red pieces of fabric. Don't know how they got that up there, and how big that piece of cloth must be to cover all the, uh, the entire clock over there, but yeah, let's not think too much about those things. Let's go back over here. And those two people that were locked up here are also gone. But what's more interesting is this thing over there. Look at this. You, you broke a duet, the hero of the Vox. What the hell are they talking about? Look at that poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. Slate and I. Burned down the half heroes. It's bleeding. Two memories in the same place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. So, um, this implicates a few things, because Martyr, of course, means that Booker DeWitt, if this dimension, died defending the Vox Populi, and that's why he's a hero of the Vox Populi. And uh, we're seen as a hero uh, to all these people here, so that's that's gonna be positive, right? And then we get up here, and these poor soldiers are just executed by the Vox, because yeah, join the Vox Populi, Daisy Fitzroy, Here's your voice. This doesn't look all too positive, doesn't it? Because, yeah, war is always... Uh, has kind of a bit of a... bad effect. So Daisy Fitzroy clearly uses Only way to be sure is to pull it up from the roof. So she's actually using our debt as uh, a way of uh, yeah 
riling up the people. So let's get the infusion we couldn't get before. And uh, let's join in the celebration a bit. These people don't mind that we stole the uh, coin pouch. So let's go back up and uh, see what happened back at Finkton itself. So let's go back in the elevator and uh, press the button. Because this looks nice, right? Everybody's partying. And uh, yeah, happy, happy all the way around. Aside from uh, world, the deaths of the police. You are a martyr. These folk need a better class of hero. When it comes down to it, the only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. The so only difference between Comstock and Fitzroy is how you spell the name. Because Booker still doesn't trust Daisy Fitzroy, obviously, because she's not uh, up, very pure of heart either. And, uh, okay. Enemies over here. Seems like there's just Fox Populi over here. But what has changed as well is that this gate has been pried open. And there's, of course, a new vigor for us here. Pick up charge. So there we go, the charge vigor. It's a bit of a, a bit of a peculiar vigor. I'm just gonna let the game explain it for us. You can see the wind whirling around our arms already. There we go. Thank you very much. Press to lunge at enemies, delivering a tornado blow. Hold and release to build up a more devastating tornado blow. So it's just kind of a, a bull rush attack. That means you can just uh, charge enemies. Do it. Okay. Let's use the gun automaton again. So this is very good for a melee build. And let's put that in his head. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Didn't see that. That was all my health gone immediately. For some reason. Must have hit a rocket in the face somewhere. That was uh, painful. Let's... Uh, no, 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 no. I want to just swap that out for Bucking Bronco. You do? I think I saw you too. Um, let's go with the freight hook. Let's attach to it. And let's just take him off the, uh... Oh! Oh, you just survived that. There we go. Goodbye. I do love killing guys like that. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Here we go. And I think, yeah, ooh, there's not a shock ho jockey over here. Did I completely miss that the last time? I don't think I did. So again... Not much in this area aside from the loot we can get of the corpses of these guys. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's continue on and go back to Finkton. And see if we can't help Daisy Fitzroy take out Fink. Because uh, that would be nice, right? Let's switch this back up. And uh, go back this way, so swapping the cargo again. Yes, we did it. I don't know if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons, or I created one. That is a very interesting distinction there. Okay. I don't know if I brought us to a world where the Vox had weapons, or if I actually created one. So let's help these guys out a bit. Okay. Because now we're at the side of an army, so don't really need to worry about all this too much. Well, I did die before, so that might actually be a wrong assumption. Give me a second. I actually have the sniper rifle, so... Okay, that guy died. What the hell was that? That sounded like a sniper rifle. Okay, so let's go... I think did I actually check out everything here? It's a volley gun, but don't really care about that. RPG ammo can always come in handy. And then I did pick up the Foxophone over here, I think. Um, I don't think it's worth exploring this area again. 
Maybe check up the weapon upgrades, but that's pretty much it. Um, nope. Because everything else won't have changed all that much. They don't change up the item positions when we change dimensions. Oh, yeah, right. Um, if we go back into the gunsmith, something else has changed, because both Chen Lin and his wife are now completely murdered. This is, this is not what I meant to have happen. Elizabeth. They're dead, Booker. Come on, let's leave this place. Let's go to the factory and get our airship. So yeah, we this went to a... Um, responsibility, none of it. You just opened a door to this world and we stepped through. Are you sure, Booker? Did I just bring us to a world where Chenlin was alive, or, or did I create it? I told you I always thought that my little trick was a form of wish fulfillment. I got my wish. You did. So, that's a very important distinction here. She, she feels like she created this world rather than brought us here. Which also figures into my uh, theory about the fact that the dimension we... Well, going through it there doesn't make us transport to this dimension, but rather overlays the dimension we want to happen on top of the dimension we were in. And this is an interesting voxophone from Booker DeWitt himself. Looks like I got a friend in town after all. Slate. He's fell in with these Vox Populi. And for irregulars, I will say, they are loaded for bear. The problem is, I gotta help them with their damn revolution first. Then we take Comstock House by storm. I do that, I get the girl. So there we go, this Booker was in a dimension where Elizabeth was uh, more secure than uh, she was with us. And um, he helped the Vox Populi with their revolution and Slate as well to get... Uh, well, to completely get the girl back. Oh, we don't need to unlock that. Because they put down a charge and cut down the entire lock. There we go. So let's help out the Vox Populi here. Uh, there's not much here, if I'm not mistaken. This vial of salts. And is there anything else? I don't think there is, because this place is just completely on fire. Maybe over there? Let's go with possession. This is just a dollar bill machine, right? Yeah. Let's pick up more silver eagles. And help out the Vox here. Because we need to go over there to uh, Fink's own building. The more we help out these guys, the easier it will be for us. Because we have more... Uh... Need this? Yeah, Much we need applied. this. Thanks. So let's just keep uh, following them. And I think it's most important that we uh, take out everything as fast as we can. Oh, sorry. That was... Um, let's take out the gun turrets first. That's one of ours. Kill your oppressor. What the? I'll cut you in half. There we go. More money. Okay. Where the hell did she find that? More money. Oh. Oh. We want to open this gate, but uh, oh god. Oh god. Help, help, help. He thinks we so we can't get that door open unless we someone takes that airship out. Are we volunteering? Kind of. Let's go on the... I think we can get on the skyline around here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Probably need to go over there. Yeah. Let's load up before we go in. Let's pick up the shotgun because we're going to be in close quarters. Let's go over here. 
all the way around. Where in the hell? Is there anywhere over here? No. Nope. So let's take another round. Nothing over here. But we could get over there. Ooh, that was a girly screen. Sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. There we go. We've got it Anybody here? Doesn't seem like it. Don't stop. Let's take him with us, because he's gonna follow us if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Gonna have to be careful. Um, let's go for Shock Jockey. There we go. He's gone. There we go. I think that's pretty much it. Need to sabotage the engine and bring this thing down. Just gonna search everything here to, uh, well, fill up on pretty much everything. Let's sabotage this thing by just uh, jabbing something into it. Okay. And now let's now get out get of this, this thing because uh, this thing is gonna crash completely. Is it? I think it's this way that we need to go. Another step right for here. Goddammit, where do we need to go? Where do we need to go? Ah. Um, skylines. Where are the skylines? Over here then? Yeah, there it is. Um. Ooh, there we go. Jesus Christ. So everybody's cheering us on right now. The wit. The wit. Booker the wits. I don't know how they know that, but yeah. That was amazing. Come on, Elizabeth. Let's go find Daisy in the factory. Yeah, let's go find Daisy in the factory. Now let's take their heads. Indeed, let's take their heads. Leave Finkton proper. Okay. So uh, this is very fitting. So uh, Vox Populi soldier dead on the barricade over there, and a normal soldier down over there. Okay then, thank you. Holy shit. I'm just gonna slowly take everything I can get. I think I might have killed three people there. I do apologize for that. Let's search the corpses. Okay, he just got out of that really quickly. Uh, wait, ooh, carbine. I still have enough sniper rifle. But okay. Stop shooting down everything. Seriously. And I think keep going. Yeah, because there's not much here. Uh, Daisy ooh. said she was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. That at least to Fink's office. So we need to take the elevator up, but kill to live. Melee executions have 65% chance to give health. Weird number, but yeah, let's just take it. I'm not really gonna change that because it's very specific. It needs to be an execution, so not melee hits. So uh, we can't really do much about that. There's a few corpses in the fire here with just a few health items. And then a locksmith bag, which is always handy. What the hell are you looking at now? It's just burning, Elizabeth. Just burning. She's a bit sadistic. And let's push the button. This might actually be a bit of a longer episode, because I'm not sure if I'm going to get a save point. Hmm. Maybe if I get out of the elevator, I might get another save point. So there we go. A figure manufacturing plant. 
And there was a figure that we haven't seen yet. The blue one over there is one we haven't got yet. That's booking Bronco. There we have the uh, vending machines we've uh, been seeing all around. All being made by Fink. Same with uh, the door locks that are powered by uh, Shock Jockey. Everything is being They're made just by Fink. right for each other, aren't they? Who? That's Roy and Comstock. They kind of are. Even the turrets are made by Fink. So yeah, Fink kind of has a monopoly on pretty much everything. Maylin? Mr. Lin? My god, I... I was so set on getting to Paris. I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... And there we have the phone ringing again, so let's answer the phone. Um, hello? Fink? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause, a story to tell your children. You... You just complicate the narrative. You just complicate the narrative. And that is actually true, because we're really complicating the narrative. Um, I see that it's auto-saving, so I'm just going to take this, these last few minutes to uh, have a little chat with you guys. So, what changed in this dimension is that Booker, instead of what we did, uh, talked to Daisy Fitzroy herself uh, first and get the assignment to get her s some guns. We actually found Slate first and we teamed up with him, with him instead of killing him. Um, that caused Booker DeWitt to get more organically into the Fox Populi. He uh, died by Comstock's hands and then became a martyr. Now Daisy Fitzroy is using that death as a propaganda device to get, uh, well, more people to her side. And now that there's another Book of the Wit alive for her, that kind of complicates her narrative. Because, yeah, she can't really use Booker's death as a propaganda device if he's still alive, of course. So that means that from now on, the Vox Populi Get won't really down. like us anymore. There we go. I am so sorry, Mr. Vox. Yeah, who cool. And there we go, it's auto saving again, so I can't even do that after this. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. Just gonna loot everything. I probably have to do that. Yeah, because it just saved, I'm not gonna have to do that now. So, uh, we're right at the office of Jeremiah Fink, chief executive. So, when we get back, we're gonna see what Daisy Fitzroy has planned for Fink and who will survive. But before that, I'm gonna take a little break. So, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.